Okay, I'm just being pulled to you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is a message for the collective, okay? Don't think I'm just spoiling my Leos and my Scorps. Okay. So, let's let's see what's what's what needs to be talked about, what needs to be addressed. What's next? What's next? Okay. I just wanted, they all came out weird. I just wanted to place them correctly. So, Six of Wands, Queen of Pents, Five of Wands. We have an energy of... questioning this is pride feminine energy has got a lot of pride right now um, she's not even arguing with other people or arguing herself it's like she turns her back from anything that was even slightly linked to she just turns her back towards i mean away from drama but like it wasn't drama She just stopped battling, but she's questioning. So we do have a feminine woman, okay? Uh, a feminine, okay? You could be masculine or feminine. It doesn't matter. But the depiction on the card is saying there's the this feminine woman, she's, she's full of pride. Her ego is getting in the way. I wouldn't say she's materialistic. I, I just, she's looking at this opportunity and not knowing what to do, but the universe is is pretty much saying hey, there's this victory coming your way. Why are you questioning it? She just doesn't want to be in, in a scatterbrain energy, I guess. Like, who wants to be in the blah, 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 blah? You know what I mean? Like, But I just hope this that this Taurus-like energy is making smart moves. This is, it's the Three of Wands, Page of Pence at the bottom of the deck. This is something at a distance. At a distance. But your ships are also here. Something little is coming your way, but whatever this little thing is, is going to end up being ginormous. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Yeah, she's... So it's 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 ego, too. But, well, not too. We knew that. Okay. So... Instead of looking at something in a positive way, okay, and realizing that there's a connection here that needs to be tend to, she or he is, is focusing on the wrong things, focusing on pain, focusing on what went wrong, focusing on the wrong things. Tell me about the Queen of Pence. So that's 
you know, ego blockages, not seeing the positive. Okay, but he's actually looking over, so she does see. She does see the connection, but she's most definitely not focused on it because her ego's in the way because she got hurt. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. This is like a teaching moment for me, though, believe it or not. Like, because look at how everybody's sitting. It's calm. Only one person's standing. Only one person's talking. There's only one, you know what? But, like, she's turning her back towards it. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. That's way too many. Queen of Pentacles. So she's being asked to see the positive in a situation. Is what's going down. Clean up pants, clean up pants. She there's something she doesn't see yet. There's something concealed from her. It hasn't been revealed. She's also looking at something being deceptive, because the moon can mean deception too. So I don't know if somebody broke her trust or lied or you know she's just something just needs to be revealed that hasn't been revealed yet so meanwhile you know could be could be talking about right around the new moon for us now but I, I think this is more or less like she doesn't know what's going on so Her ego is getting the best of her. But if you ask me, something just needs to be revealed. And it will be because this is there's something here regarding now. Tell me about the five of wands. Or she could be dealing with the Pisces Cancer. She's a very smart woman though. She's wearing a red cloak. Okay. So the the empress is in the eight of cups reversed it is basically she's saying to herself no way am i walking backwards because it's the same woman and basically she's telling herself no way am i going backwards like she's she's fighting it too. She's she's fighting it. And you notice how I said she's fighting it too? And it brought me right to the Leo read. So again, your this is linked to the, the Leo read. And it involves a strong Taurus energy with the feminine coming out in Taurus. Because to me, this isn't really an energy. I mean, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but like to me, this is be something being concealed. Hidden. And again, it's like her back's turned from that too. Three of Wands, three of, well, that popped out, right? But, and that was just the Scorpio thing I just did, but, whoa. Judgment. So, somebody's going to want a second chance or forgiveness. Or this is her own judgment. No, this is, this is judgment, this is forgiveness. Because she's actually looking over here at all the sorrow. Um, so it looks like somebody's going to want forgiveness. And it's going to be up to you eventually to decide whether or not you can lay, put the ego to rest. Additional messages. Any additional messages? Mm 
yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's the same as like the Leo guy. It's, it's, it's moving forward. You know, leave, leave behind, not necessarily him or her, but leave behind the sorrow, what doesn't serve you. It's like moving forward, starting a new adventure. Or this is somebody coming towards you, and that's what Leo had. some type of messaging coming in it's going to be a quick message it's going to be quick energy it's it's going to be presented okay um tell me about this page of wands page of wands page of wands this could be this to me this could be that person coming at you that wants forgiveness they're coming in battle okay um but Either you, to me, additional messages for you, you're, you're holding on. And, and that came in the beginning of the other read, too. But, like, you're holding on to something, this feminine energy, this Taurus feminine energy. It's not what it's saying. This is the Leo coming towards you they're going to explain to you why why they held on whatever that's regarding because they held on to something for too long and it looks like it was an ulterior it was a different relationship I was going to say ulterior motive but it wasn't they were holding on to for something that was dead for a long time and it was hard for them to walk away from someone or something and they're going to come in and, and talk about it with you and uh, will you forgive you know only you can answer that question when this comes into fruition until then do what it is you're doing until then work on the ego because that is not helping. Okay. Hope that helps. Love you. Bye.